Hi everyone. Joining me today is Bruce Gregg to tell us about the Bachelor of Commerce and Agriculture at Lincoln University. But before we get started, Bruce, just take a moment to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you really enjoy in terms of your subject area and your role at Lincoln. Hi, well, good morning, everybody. Uh, yes, I, I lecture mostly farm management at Lincoln, which is part of the BCom Ag degree. Uh, I really like uh, the aspect of students being able to understand the principles of agriculture and farm systems in New Zealand and getting the opportunity to experience that and see that as much as they can during their studies. Yeah, great. So let's take a closer look at the Bachelor of Commerce and Agriculture and what can students expect to learn about? Well, basically the BCom Ag is the business side of farming. So it includes all the production sciences around plants, animals and soils, but also has a big component on farm management, which is all about the business side, the economics, finance, strategy of farm businesses. Uh, and students will get to see a variety of different types of farms, different types of farm systems around the country uh, through our tours and our field trips. Uh, and so that gives students a good idea uh, of how New Zealand farm systems are working. Plus we spend some time uh, doing lectures and we also have uh, a practical work component where students are required to work on farm for a number of weeks as part of their degree. And we believe that's really important because that gives you lots of credibility with New Zealand farmers if you're able to do and understand how farmers think and work and do the practical things. Yeah, interesting. So, so in terms of classes, what, what are classes like? Well, at, normally classes, uh, students would attend lectures about for that particular subject for three or four times a week. Uh, they attend lectures, they listen to a lecturer, they make notes, they do some work online. They do some, some of their own work in their own time, reading and so on. Uh, then they do some laboratories where they go uh, and uh, do some practical things in either a laboratory or on a farm or in a workshop or something like that. Uh, and then in our final year, students are allocated a commercial farm of their own, which they spend the year on and they write a number of reports and in the end, they make a commercial recommendation uh, to the farmer uh, about the future of their business and a strategy that they can they can take up. So students get to do hands-on uh, farm management type work with a real life uh, commercial farm. Sounds good. So let's say I graduate with this qualification, what kinds of careers could I get into and is there a demand out there in the workforce? Uh, yes, David, the, the BCom Ag degree has a lot of credibility and is a very well-known degree in agricultural circles in New Zealand. Most of our students would probably go into a farming role, either managing or owning farms, either their own or parents or family farms, and even corporate farms as well. Uh, students also enter the agricultural service industry, whether they be uh, rural bankers, fertilizer reps, agronomists, farm consultants, uh, or work in a corporate uh, environment with agricultural products or agricultural marketing. All those types of careers, uh, right from the farm gate to international trade, are all available to a BCom Ag graduate. Yeah, great. And lastly, do you have any specific subject recommendations for students looking at this qualification or advice to best prepare for courses at university? I think if, if, if students just do the normal requirements to get into university, I don't think there's anything specific for this degree. It's useful to have a bit of finance, accounting, economics. It's also useful to have a bit of biology and science. Uh, but, and but what I think is most important is to have a little bit of exposure to the agricultural industry or to farming itself. So if you get a chance on holidays or vacations, if you get a chance to visit family farms or friends or so on, I'd really encourage students to spend some time on farms because that really prepares them well to cope with the contents of the lectures when they get to LinkedIn. Yeah, that sounds really good. Oh, thanks for joining us today, Bruce. Oh, that's my pleasure. Uh, we look forward to, to welcoming people to LinkedIn. Yeah, great. Um, if you have any questions or would like any more information, just ask your careers advisor through your school and they can put you in touch with your LinkedIn liaison officer. But thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.